demonstrating for you today is a really cool lab uh, to teach kids about the um, principles of the cell membrane and how things uh, in turn leave the cell membrane. So what I have right here is um, in this bin is I have a, a solution of water, soap, and uh, glycerin. Um, I just took a, a two liter bottle or a gallon bottle like this, uh, mostly water, uh, about 500 milliliters of glycerin and then the rest uh, just soap. Um, just regular dish detergent, Dawn, palm olive works fine. Alright, so um, <clears throat> first thing you need to do is uh, after making your solution, you're going to go ahead, you're going to construct your little straw rings. This is just simply four straws uh, strung together with string right down the middle. Makes a nice little circle. So this is where we're going to show our cell membrane. So, here I have one already submerged in our bubble solution. You can see, uh, let me get my hands a little soapy, that when I pull out um, our little straw ring, uh, we have a bubble film in there. Okay. Nice. Alright. <clears throat> Usually I tell the kids not to do that. Uh, okay. So, um, the objective is to ask the students to find three ways in order to try and get a pencil through that bubble membrane without popping it. Because um, you'll notice that, you know, I take said pencil, we go through the bubble membrane, and boom, <clears throat> it pops, right? So the bubble membrane popped, which means that, you know, like, pencil can't pass through. Um, all the while you're trying to uh, explain to them how, you know, how this relates to the properties of the cell membrane. Okay, um, other things that they have here, they have a little piece of string, like this. They have plastic tubing, I just got this at the hardware store, and they have paper clip. Uh, depending on your class will depend on how much information you want to give them. You can tell them specifically, you know, try this, how does this relate to the cell membrane? Try this, how does this relate to the cell membrane? Or you can say like, here you go, find three ways to get that pencil through. Way number one, take the plastic tubing, submerge it in bubble solution, so that when we pull our, uh, our contraption up here, we can actually put this through, and the pencil slides on through without breaking the membrane. So the membrane's still intact. That's <clears throat> the first way of getting the uh, pencil through without uh, breaking your membrane. All right, second way, using the string. The easy way is just to kind of like place the string right on the top so that as you pull this up, now you see the string is embedded in there. You can actually poke the middle out of the string. So you see that we have this hole here where the pencil can uh, pass on through. Oops, well, yeah, you get the idea. Um, and the cool thing about, uh, showing this or having the students do this is you can show that you know even though you now have this hole this opening in your cell membrane that allows you to pull things through you can take um, your paper clip you can actually uh, pull that string out and you see that the membrane closes right behind it uh, kind of demonstrating endo and exocytosis of the cell membrane All right, and lastly, and the most fun for the students, they actually take the pencil, you just submerge it in bubble solution, and they find out that anything that is made of the same properties will actually pass through the, the membrane there. Now, <clears throat> it's usually at this point when they figure this out that kids get the crazy zany idea that, you know what, if I can get the pencil to do that, I bet I can get my hand to do it, and the answer is yeah. They totally can. So you can actually take your entire hand and start placing it through and pull it back without popping the membrane. I've had kids actually get their whole arms through. It's a complete mess, 
But the great thing is, is that it's soap, which means that after the lab, your kids have completely washed all your tables, which is great. Things that are, are made of the same material, such as the, uh, the lipid, will actually pass through the cell membrane without any need of a protein channel, okay, or um, end or exocytosis, such as with using the string. So like I said, this is a great way to help kids understand the properties of the cell membrane. It's a fun lab for them. Uh, they really, really enjoy it, and they really have a good time. And I hope you have to.